Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Aisha if you're new here and I document my life a little bit of it on YouTube. So today I will be resetting my Sunday. I have a few things cut up for me. I already have my laundry and the machine going. So I mean the kids will be outside for a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and do my you know my facial routine especially on a Sunday. When I have time to relax I try to like give myself some you know TLC and I have the girls here to comb and that's about it so I have you guys propped up on my toilet I'm just gonna like push my hijab back a little bit to kind of get all of my face recently I've you know developed a few spots around here from like I don't know plucking and then like because your girl gets a little bit of you know chinny chin chins but I will get like some kind of acne going on, especially around the cycle time. And uh, I just can't seem to stay away from coffee and I put milk in my coffee. So I think that's what triggers me. So eventually I will cut it out. But yeah, I've been developing these marks. So I've bought a number of products that I use. I have like three different face washes over here. And then like make a remover mask and stuff like that. So I'm going to show you what I'm using as well as how I moisturize. Okay, so the kids are pretty loud. My neighbors are cutting grass. It's a beautiful Sunday. The sun is shining, which is very rare in England, but it is. So yeah, let's get into it. So these three are the main face washes that I've been using. This one is supposed to be all natural and like the ingredients, you can read it. So this is what I really like about this one. And then I've been on my Korean skincare, trying to get clear skin, seeing what these girlies in Korea are doing. I'm gonna try it for myself. This one is actually made, but it's a black owned company. So they say that they cater for melanated skin. So you'll see. And oh shoot. this is the Korean skin clear. It has, you know, black rice, whatever. This is one of the most expensive products that I have, so I kind of like really, really skimp up on this and try to like, you know, make it last because this stuff is the good stuff, but it's a bit expensive. So today we will be using the Fairy Flawless. I usually reach for this one and this one during the week, but today is Sunday, so I'm doing the best and we're going to start with this one. So don't mind all the crazies that I have behind me. These are the essentials. So I'm going to go ahead and wet my face and use this little brush. It's very soft, so it's kind of good for daily cleansing. I use this one. So I'm going to go ahead, wet the brush, get some soap on there, some face wash, and wet my face as well. So yeah, for this, uh, the gold is um, peeling off. It's a pretty bottle. But I take about three pumps of that and then lather my face. And I try to focus on my more problematic areas, like around my cheeks and like between the grooves of the nose and then forehead, free game. It's like a little mental game because it doesn't foam up as much as I would like, you know, to see the soap, but it's better this way. It's not drying at all. This face mask I've been using before is just a nice superfood. It says marine clay mask. Um, blah, 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 blah. I'm not entirely sure what it's for, but it says superfood and it looked good. It had good reviews, so I got this. And I'm going to use this Manuka Honey Face Mask. And I'm going to put it around the areas that gives me trouble. This is the honey that I'm using again. It's Manuka Honey Face Mask. And then look at the ingredients. You can read them. So that's what I like about this. And literally when it gets on my lips, I have to kind of stop myself from licking it. So I'm just going to apply this evenly around my face, try to get it covered really good and leave it on for about 10 to 20 minutes. This hijab is probably 
definitely older than my kids. I've had this since my time in Trinidad, and that's like back in my high school days. And I just really like this color on me, to be honest. It's like one of my hijabs that I love to wear. Because then I don't think twice if it looks nice on me or not, but I really like this one. There's like a whole lot of back of it too, <laughs> that I usually just wrap this way and can hide the whole. This is a favorite of mine. I've been digging on this honey all the time, really and truly, and trying to like, oh, stop the acne from coming. But I know, really and truly, I need to like cut out the coffee, or at least the milk around the cycle time. I know that I just need to do better. That's on my face. I'm gonna go ahead and take my bath, really scrub down and get relaxed, and then rinse off the mask when I'm finished. Yeah. So I will see you guys in a second. So I just got done with my bath and prime do her salon. So now is the perfect time for me to do my moisturizing so that it can, you know, marinate on my face until the next time I meet I need to make wudu, which is a um after time. So yeah, and because we're in like in the summer, the days are super long, so I get like a good five, six hours before I need to go wash my face for wudu again and pray. So let's get into it. So don't mind my junkie dresser, it's being used. So this um, spray, I usually use it at night, sometimes in the day. But today I'll go ahead and continue my treatment with the black rice water toner, whatever. I'm going to use this and then I'm going to put on the this thing, some kind of essence liquid to give my face a little bit of, you know, whatever it gives. And then I have this cream that I use at night, sometimes in the day. It's supposed to help kind of fade my scars, and I use this as well. Um, before I even got into this one, I actually bought like this whole set of, you know, this brand, whatever. And I've been using that. I'm trying to stay consistent with it to see if I see results before I actually, you know, commit to, you know, swapping over. But this one, the company says it's black owned, it's made for melanated skin. I am a melanated girl, so I wanted to try them as well. So I'll be using my front facing camera for the mirror. First, I just put a little bit of this, you know, black rice face toner and kind of pat it in my face everywhere as much as possible on my forehead. Get it around my cheeks. And I try to like, I don't really commit to like, you know, the cheek, you know, I forgot my friend called it. There's something like, you know, you can like rub at your face, but I do it with my fingers because I don't have the little tool thingy to kind of like get some of the chubby away. But my cheeks always been big as a kid. You can kind of see it in my kids as well, their cheeks. You can kind of see it in my kids as well. Their cheeks are a bit chubby too. So, you know, just smoothing that in. I should have used like the cotton bud, but this is easier and quicker. I have to, I have other things to do too. Anyways, and I'm gonna just grab a little bit more, pull my hijab up a bit, and then get my neck. Uh huh. Get all over. It's very cooling kind of relaxing it's nice and cool mm -hmm. so oh shoot that went far I'm gonna get that off there <laughs> so with this um snail essence whatever I like to use this to kind of actually rub out my you know, my imaginary jawline, rub at it, rub my cheeks out, rub my eyebrows a bit. Try to get rid of the puff and whatever. This got like a very slimy texture. Look, can you see? Very slimy. But yeah, I use this because it's like super wet and very glidey. I just use this to um, really and truly start rubbing my 
my chubbiness away. I'm trying to take care of the double chin. I count like 30 as I go this way and then this way. Then my eyebrows are just rub up and then I continue that way. I like to focus here and kind of glide my eye bags and slide it backwards still. Yeah, so it's all in. My face already feels a little bit sticky and moisturized, so now I'm gonna use this thing snail all in one cream. It's kind of gross, but as you know, it's unscented and nice. So I use it, kind of that kind of sticky texture again, rub it in my face, oh shit, I'm getting my ring, and I just get it all over to lock in the moisture and then I'm finished for the day, I'm more careful at night and I do a bit more at night including like combing out my lashes and stuff like that, but I have things to do. I'm gonna go outside right after. Hang up some clothes and then I'm gonna deal with the girls' hairs and it's my hair. Perhaps. Inshallah. So yeah, just getting that in. Take it under my hijab again. I forgot with the essence, but that's okay. Because I'm gonna do it again at night. Rub it, rub it, rub it. I still follow that upward motion when I like go towards my forehead and on my eyebrows to kind of like shape. Mm. Mm. Yeah. So that's it. I'm ready to continue my day. I got my shower in, my face cleaned and, you know, feeling good with my Manuka honey and everything. Now it's moisturized. Now, to do the other things. What are you guys doing? Smile so made a mess. I thought you said it's my made a mess. It's my made a mess. It's my who made a mess. So Maya, when I come back and say we come in here. Look how beautiful the sky is today. The sky is super blue. My clothes are on the line. But it's a nice sunny day and I'm just hiding out behind my sheets. So I'm just taking a second to sit outside and relax before I actually go and try to comb the girl's hair. So Maya especially, she really hates combing her hair. Her hair texture is a bit more kinkier than Amatilla, which is crazy. Amatilla hair is dark but a little bit looser and so Maya and it's my hair. Um, it's brown, more lighter brown. And their hair is a bit more curly and kinkier. Um, I can show you a picture here and show you the difference between the two of their, um, the two girls' hair. But yeah, she fights me a lot when it comes to combing her hair, so I'm just taking a moment to sit and relax, think about what I'm going to make for dinner, and chill for a bit. I have a few things that I'm trying to accomplish. One, I need to plan out me and the kids new school year if i'm gonna go back to school and do a course and then work on their homeschool plan uh we were discussing on maybe like putting isma into school but then i feel like he isn't quite ready yet and i just try to like protect them as much as possible and hold on to their little personalities before throwing them in a mix of different kids from different backgrounds and stuff like that so i need to work on their homeschool plan and curriculum or whatever and plan that out with their dad we also need to plan moving september will be our last month here 
before we start looking for a new place and um with everything that's going on in the uk ibrahim's car got um got stolen so that's another expense we need to deal with like replacing the car so yeah a lot uh a lot to do so i just left you guys with that piece of tea and then disappear but let me tell you a story anyways because i'm until she started crying i could have heard um i could have heard her crying upstairs so i s suspected she needed help partying but she did alhamdulillah she hold it and no mess anyway so what happened was i was at home Ibrahim he called me I'm just in the kitchen doing stuff but when I'm finished with this quick story time I am going to do what I gotta do in the kitchen I'm letting the tablet charge before I comb the girls hair and then and then I will you know get back I'm just being productive so yeah I'm gonna get back to that after this quick story time so what happened was um Ibrahim he called me in the evening because it was time for him to go home after work and he had like a meeting so he called me and he basically told me that he was walking up and down the street outside of the mansion where he was working and he couldn't find his car and he kind of did park it away from being right in front of the mansion he parked it a bit away i guess it was crowded or whatever like over here, especially in the most city areas, it's it's extremely hard to get parking. So, inshallah, in the next house, hopefully we have a driveway. Anyway, so, mm -hmm. anyways, <laughs> anyways, so, yeah, he called me and told me that um, he couldn't find his car. He looked up and down. I asked him if he's sure. He remembered where he parked his car. He's sure he can't find it. So I was thinking maybe his car got impounded because over here you basically have to pay to park anywhere. So maybe he parked in the wrong spot and someone called him, called the police or someone and got and get his um, car impounded. But that wasn't the case because I told him to him call the police and see what they know. And they called and nothing. No record of his car being impounded, so they suspected that his car was stolen. They gave him, you know, his complaint ID and told him if they ever find a car burnt out, he needs to pay to have it removed. That's all he got. But yeah, someone stole his car. His wallet was actually in there with his cards and like 400 pounds in cash. So that really broke my heart. 400 pounds. We need that. We need 400 pounds. And that was gone. Alhamdulillah, it sucks. But yeah, now we have to move, inshallah, and replace the car. So that's something else. So we just need to make a plan, journal, and budget to see how we're going to move forward. So I'm going to wash my dishes while I wait for the tablet to charge and then comb the girls' hair. Very cute. Let me see you. What's your name? This one here. Sheriff Ismail. What's your name? Sheriff Ismail. Very cute. Oh, you Elsa? I'm be Elsa. Let mama see you here. Alhamdulillah, even though Ibrahim's car got stolen, the master that he works for and his students and whoever else, his colleagues, they all raised about 250 something pounds for him to ride the bus. So I guess he's getting to know the town, you know, like going on the bus routes and everything like that. This is a little bit more inconvenient. For example, he went to like a get together today and it took him an hour to get to that place on the bus when it usually would take him about 20 minutes max 30 pushing it if there's traffic so yeah that's a bit inconvenient but alhamdulillah he got help and support 
so that's it for today uh thank you for sticking with me as i you know did my face routine got my girls hair combed my son hair combed everyone looking fresh and i'll see you in the next video inshallah when i get to cracking with back to school shopping planning out my school year inshallah at least the first i don't know maybe month because I'm talking about a year and I'm not good at planning. So I'm going to aim for the first month of actually detailing what I want to accomplish. Inshallah. So, yeah. I'll see you in the next video. Assalamu alaikum.